Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Female Field Guide. I am your hostess, Jasmine George. Tonight, I am going to preview the matchup, tomorrow night's matchup, National Football League against the Minnesota Vikings and our beloved Philadelphia Eagles. Before we get into the details of the matchup, I want to say that it was broken this, this today that in the Associated Press, President Obama gave praise to Coach Andy Reid. He's the coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. He gave praise to Andy Reid and the uh, organization, the Philadelphia Eagles, for giving Michael Vick a second chance and allowing him to be a productive contribution to society again after serving 18 months in prison. For those of you guys have been, you know, underneath a rock or a stone or Maybe y'all been locked up yourself. Know that uh, Michael Vick, he was in jail for 18 months with his involvement, as well as he was the main uh, financing uh, entity of this dog fighting and um, a rink that was that took place in his hometown, Virginia. And so he served 18 months in the slammer and the penitentiary. Well, he got out. Coach Andy Reid took a chance on him and signed him last year. He worked his way up from being a third string quarterback He's been the starter for about five games. He fought out Kevin Cobb, who, you know, he he he's good, but he's no Michael Vick, baby. He's no Michael Vick. So I just wanted to say congratulations to Vick. I mean, he's even got the eye of President Obama. And so I'm very happy. I call him redemption on the show because not only has he worked his way up from being the starting quarterback, but goodness gracious, he's right behind Tom Brady, the precious Tom Brady with the mullet of the New England Patriots. He's right behind him with regards to most valuable player MVP voting in the National Football League. As a matter of fact, he leads all quarterbacks in MVP voting in the NFC East. Now, ladies, when it comes to the different divisions, it's the NFC, the National Football Conference, and they have East, West, North, South. They're broken into divisions. And then there's the AFC, American Football Conference, and, of course, they have the East, West, and North, and South. The New England Patriots, they are uh, number one in their conference, in their division, and, of course, with this game, the Philadelphia Eagles, they're number one. They're ranked top for the NFC East. Tomorrow's matchup between the Minnesota Vikings and the Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles, they are 10-4. and four. What's that, Jazz? Well, ladies, when it comes to a record, the wins are always the first number that you list. So, the Philadelphia Eagles have a record of 10 wins and 4 losses, which is really, really, really good. There's some really tough teams that they faced over the season and so they're coming up victorious they're on top of the NFC the National Football Conference the East Division they face the five and nine Minnesota Vikings uh, ladies that's not good they only have five victories and they've lost nine um, the Minnesota Vikings had a lot of injuries their head guy their quarterback Brett Favre he's like 41 years old he came back again after retiring like 12 times he came back again he claims this is his last season, and he actually may not play tomorrow because he has not been cleared yet for his concussion. He suffered a concussion last week. He hit the ground so hard. Uh, he was tackled, um, and he had a concussion. The week before that, he suffered a very severe shoulder injury, so he's really been uh, busted up. Earlier in the season, he had an ankle injury as well. So I definitely think that Father Time is knocking on his door and catching up with him. Like I said, the Minnesota Vikings, their record is 5-9. and nine. They are out of playoff contention, but really I think this team is playing for pride now. So because there was a snowstorm uh, in Philadelphia on Sunday, the game was moved to Tuesday. So the game will be played Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on NBC. The matchup. Well, not only is Michael Vick, a.k.a. Redemption, playing extremely well just for a man that, that was in the clinker, but... This man also is second in rushing with his team with touchdowns. The leading rusher is a running back on their team, LaShawn McCoy. He actually, uh, he, he's been a little banged up, but he's actually been coming to play really hard, and he leads the team in rushing. Ladies, rushing means running the ball. So Michael Vick is a quarterback, and he's second behind this top rushing running back of the team. Michael Vick currently has, uh, you know, he has seven, seven touchdowns. Uh, rushing running the ball and LaShawn McCoy has eight rushing touchdowns, which is great He has Michael Vick has 613 yards rushing running the ball not yet not throwing but running the ball this man's got legs He's got wheels. He's phenomenal. So ladies gents if you have a chance, please try to watch that game tomorrow You know, I know they're all busy, but just see this man in action. Michael Vick is indeed 
the human highlight film. But it does not take one man to win a, to win a game. It does not take one man to be victorious. Michael Vick is actually extremely fortunate. He's got quite a few weapons to throw to. And I'm talking about his wide receivers. Deshaun Jackson, uh, he's definitely been a household name over the couple of years that he's played in the NFL. He's played for the Philadelphia Eagles. Out of college, he came from UC Berkeley, Bay Area Cat. Extremely cocky, but you love him. Last week, uh, the game, let's say, I think there was about four seconds left against the New York Giants. The kicker is a rookie kicker for the Giants. He was supposed to just kick the ball out of bounds or do an onside kick. That didn't happen. He kicked the ball right to Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson actually fumbled the ball, picks it up, takes it to the house. What do I mean the house, ladies? Touchdown. 65-yard return for a touchdown. The clock said 0, 0, 0 Philadelphia Eagles win. New York Giants lose. It was a heartbreaker for the New York Giants. And they actually, the Giants actually lost to the Packers. Uh, Packers put up 45 points on them yesterday, Sunday. So uh, the Giants, they may not make the playoffs, but... This is about the Philadelphia Eagles and the Minnesota Vikings. So not only does Michael Vick have Deshaun Jackson to pass to, but he also has Jason Avon. Jason Avon is questionable wide receiver because he has a concussion. And this season there's been quite a few concussions this year, and the NFL is really taking a lot of precaution with regards to the injuries. We all know that the NFL, the Players Association, has been bumping heads with the NFL with regards to um, better insurance, um, better helmets, more, you know, just more safe health, uh, just protection with regards to concussions. We know the longevity and the long-term injuries that it can take, that a concussion can take. So, you know, back in the olden days, a guy would get like five concussions and still play. They're not playing that in the NFL anymore. So, uh, let's see. So Jason Avant, he is actually questionable for tomorrow's matchup. Due to thunderstorms, the game, like I said, is playing tomorrow, December 28th at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern on NBC. So, of course, Vic, he's phenomenal. He's a human highlight film. He's second uh, with behind Tom Brady with regards to the MVP voting. Now, over the past 23 years, 17 of those MVP awards have been given to quarterbacks. So, honestly, it's either Brady or Vic. My vote is for Michael Vick, but we'll have to see about that in a couple of weeks. So, we're going to move on to the Vikings. Although their, you know, their schedule... Uh, definitely was rough on them and the record they're five and nine do not sleep on them because they do have some powerhouses we do not know if Brett Favre will be playing tomorrow but their backup quarterback one of the backup quarterbacks Tavares Jackson he is actually extremely talented he like Michael Vick has great wheels aka legs he's very mobile and uh, with each year that passes he's in the league his arm strength continues to, uh, to, to, to strengthen and also his accuracy continues to, to be strengthened and build as well well, although they're 5-9, uh, they're running back A.D. all day, a.k.a. Adrian Peterson. He got that nickname because his dad said when he was younger he would never stop. He was going all day. He had so much energy. This man is a powerhouse. Well, he may be sidelined tomorrow as well from a knee injury, so we're not quite sure about A.D. Uh, Adrian Peterson, he has 11 touchdowns for the season, so uh, we'll be keeping an eye out on it. It'll be a game day decision with regards to Adrian Peterson. Like we said, Brett Favre had a concussion and he has not been cleared yet. So I don't believe that there's going to be another testing. So it looks like he may not be uh, even on the plane to Philadelphia. He may have, or he, when he comes, he may have street clothes on. We'll see tomorrow night. Percy Harvin is another weapon that Tavares Jackson and the Minnesota Vikings have been very fortunate to have on their team. But he's been plagued, ladies, with migraines. And I... I have not suffered from migraines before, but it is such a, a, a strong and just, you can't move, you can't think, you can't talk, let alone suit up and run routes and catch a football. So he suffers from migraines, and so he's questionable as well. Uh, Percy Harvin has five touchdowns with 699 yards, so we'll have to see about that. Lastly, defensive end Jared Allen. This guy was crazy, okay? He does the kind of he goes like that when he sacks, you know, when he sacks a quarterback defensive end, he's on defense. They're usually bigger guys, faster guys. Their goal is to just sack the quarterback. He's really good. He's actually had a slow season, but against the the three, he's had, he's had three sacks 
in the two games that he's seen the Philadelphia Eagles. So he's hungry. So really, it's it's really about a matchup of pride, ladies, tomorrow. So let's let's hope that the Philadelphia Eagles can pull out a victory and clinch a playoff berth with their 10-4 and four record. And let's see if the Vikings will give them a run for their money tomorrow night. Philadelphia Eagles, 10-4. and four, Their MVP caliber quarterback, Michael Vick, facing formerly Brett Favre in the Minnesota Vikings, Adrian Peterson, Percy Harvin. I think they're going to give them a run for their money. They're playing for pride. They're playing just to finish out the season and, um, you know, to get a fresh start next year. So I hope that I have been able to kind of, you know, give you some bits of information, ladies and gents. Please be sure to catch that game tomorrow. And please be sure to catch me, Female Field Guide. My next episode, radio episode, will be Sunday, January 9th at 8 p.m. So thank you so much for tuning in to Female Field Guide. This has been Jasmine George signing off.